While the holidays can be a source of joy for many, this time of year can also be challenging, especially for those in the middle of grieving. Whether you're dealing with a loss of a loved one or going through some other type of grief, the holidays can weigh in hard on those dealing with those feelings. Now joining us live over Zoom is Karen Motz from Hospice of Michigan to talk about some of the ways to help cope with grief during the holidays and especially as we go into the new year. Good morning, Karen. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for allowing me to join you. I appreciate it. So, uh, you know, obviously the holidays, they do bring out a lot of feelings for a lot of us and especially those dealing with grief. So talk about what that looks like during the holiday season and as we head into the new year. That, thank you for asking that question. You know, the, I think of as I was listening to the weather report, I thought, you know, the weather outside is frightful. And for people who are grieving, the winter, the weather inside of them feels very frightful. A lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, um, magnified emotions. You're having the normal grief, but during the holidays, it's all magnified. It's all increase you know the anxiety the the sadness because of the loss of tra traditions and those families that were important during this time uh and talking about that you know you're with the hospice of michigan and you guys do a great job of offering supportive services to those people experiencing that so talk about that and what you guys um, can do there to help those people who are grieving yeah, you know what? People don't need to face things alone. And sometimes we need somebody professional to talk to. Um, it's great to have family and friends that let us know we're okay and they're there to bring a piece of pie to you. But what we can do is provide support, a listening ear, support groups for those who may need support groups. Um, and so it, all types of services and support for those who, who need it. Even just the information. Information can be vital in just being able to cope with loss and grief. Speaking of those support groups, what do those look like for people who, who might come in and, and are looking for that assistance? Well, I want to say that our support groups are open to anyone in uh, grieving a loss in the community. And it starts with contacting us and then we ask some questions and fill and we kind of filter and see if we would be a great support to you. Um, and then we get you connected to the correct support group. We have the pandemic, of course, opened up a great opportunity for a plethora of virtual groups. So they can come. It's a place where it's safe, validation, normalization, a lot of education, um, and people who will just listen to you and let you know you're okay and we're here with you. And now you mentioned um, these grief support groups are for everyone, so not just those um, who are a part of the Hospice of Michigan. Um, and then where are these sessions held? Where can people expect to be attending um, these? Yeah, we actually have a um, groups that are held in person. We have a support group that's held right in our office in Ada, Michigan. Um, and But we also have a ton of virtual support groups. So you can join from your living room, from your work, um, from the nail salon, if you, if you want to put on your headphones and join in. Um, wherever you may be, you're welcome to be a part of our support groups. And if they check out the website, they can see all of the, the offerings that we have. All right. Well, Karen, thank you so much for all of that information. If you are interested in getting in contact with Hospice of Michigan, you can find more information using the number there on your screen or going to their website. You can also find more information on our website, fox17online.com. Karen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, it is 749 this morning, still ahead. A prank war taking over a town in Georgia. In the buzz, we share why the police are battling it out with the county firefighters.